Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to do is introduce you to the way we find out areas under graphs. That is areas bounded by two lines x equals a say and x equals b, the x-axis and the curve y equals f of x. And to do that it can be shown that the area this shaded area here is given by the integral from a to b of f of x with respect to x. And to illustrate this, what I want to do is run through a typical question where we've got to find the area bounded by the curve y equals x squared plus 1, the lines x equals minus 1 and x equals 3 and the x-axis. Now if you get a question like this and a graph is not drawn, what I would always suggest is a sketch can often bring out the question. All right, So let's just start by drawing a sketch. So we need uh, our y-axis, we'll have that as our y-axis, and x-axis, and we've got the curve y equals x squared plus 1. If it was y equals x squared it'd be a parabola going through the origin, but we're adding 1 to that, so it's a parabola that is going to go through one on the y-axis coming up like this. Okay, So that's the graph then of y equals x squared plus 1. Now we've got to find the area from x equals minus 1 to x equals 3. Now x equals minus 1 will be a line say down here where x is minus 1. We go across to 3 so let's just say that that's 3 and we're after the area bounded by the curve, these two lines and the x-axis. That's that area inside between these two blue lines. Let's just uh, shade that, okay, so uh, we can see it. Let's just do that and that, okay. So we've got our area. Now, to work out that area then, let's just put it here, the area is going to equal, according to the formula, the integral of our curve which is x squared plus 1, x squared plus 1. We've got a couple of terms here so we need to put that in brackets. We integrate that with respect to x and the limits go from minus 1 to 3. So from minus 1 to 3. And in the usual way when we get something like this we integrate each term. So if we integrate the first term x squared add 1 to the power and divide by the new power and for the constant plus 1 that's just going to be 1x or just simply x and we put this in square brackets with the limits going from minus 1 to 3. Now all we need to do is substitute 3 in for the x and then subtract what we get when we substitute the minus 1 in for x. So if we do that we've got 3 cubed all divided by 3 plus another 3. Let's put that in square brackets and then we subtract what we get when we substitute the minus 1 in. So that would be minus 1 all cubed all divided by 3 plus minus 1. And we'll finish that square bracket off there. Working out the first bracket we've got 27 divided by 3 so that's going to be 9. 9 and 3 is 12 and then we've got minus and then this is minus a third minus another one so that's minus four thirds so we've got 12 minus minus four thirds 12 plus four thirds and that comes out as 40 over 3. Now we're dealing with an area here so I feel it's a good idea to put down square units there just to indicate that you're working out an area. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of this particular video on finding an area bounded by a curve and the x-axis and a couple of lines here. But in other tutorials, what I'm going to show you is how we cope with areas when the area is below the x-axis. We have to treat it in a slightly different way, so hopefully you'll look at uh, that video.